3D printing gets very interesting because it allows you to be able to start to develop form in a way that you would have a very difficult time doing it in traditional forms of uh, mold making and casting. You know, if you understand 3D printing to mean the deposition and or fusing of material by layer, it really opens up what you could consider 3D printing to be. And then shifting out of um, plastics into things like plant matter or even flesh, right? kind of like a 3D printing um, skin and things like that. The interesting thing with the 3D printing now is we can print in metal, right? We can print in ceramic, you know? So there's a lot of possibilities there to bring things into uh, production uh, that would be uh, much more efficient. We're looking at how to create lattices and then 3D print with the Ultimaker desktop 3D printer. There's kind of a three-step process. The first is that we're modeling something in Rhino and just very simple uh, piece of geometry. So I'm gonna make just a simple mesh face and now I can start to manipulate them. So if I do that, now I've got a very simple three-dimensional shape. The second step is that we're using a plugin for Rhino called Grasshopper which allows me to make logical relationships between numbers or shapes. Right, we now start to get more curvy and less constrained to the original geometry. And again, it can start very simple, and from there you just start to build in complexity or specificity. So let's say I like that and I want to 3D print it. So I'm going to export this mesh. So there are some basic settings that I would control here, which is how fast can the nozzle move around the bed. Uh, I'm going to prepare the print, it's going to process, it's telling me that it's slicing up the geometry in XY. There's going to be 370 layers, it's going to take a while to do. The Ultimaker uses PLA, um, which is a type of plastic. So it comes in spools of filament that is about a quarter inch thick. And then from there, um, it's going to heat that piece of material up and deposit it in the XY plane and at the certain Z height um, based on uh, the geometry that we uh, specified. We're very interested in parametric modeling and writing code and all these different forms of representation that we now have access to. But at the end of the day, we want to make things. Um, we want to have tangible output that will affect uh, the world that we live in. So um, these devices really do help um, people to understand some of the possibilities, right? Um, they're limits, yeah, they're limits, but they're also potentials, right? Depending on what you're looking at.